Right, hi everybody, this is just a quick video just to show you how to set up your MD380 DMR radio for use on the Brandmeister system. Um, I'm no expert myself, I'm just showing you how, it's, how it can be done um, because there's not many videos showing this. So just to get you started, and I've, I've had Dave M0AUT kindly send me this uh, code plug all set up for the UK system with all the UK repeaters in so you can actually use it on radio as well you don't have to go through a hotspot so uh, you have to get hold of the MD380 software comes with the radio or you can get it from uh, the internet and I'm using version 1.30 run the software that's what I've done and you can change it to English using this menu here and then there's a few things you need to do in order to configure it with your radio you need to click on general settings and put your radio name in there that's your call sign and you want your radio ID in here that's your DMR number mine starts with 235 so you put them in there and that's you set up for your call sign if you click on channel information there's a plus sign there to extend it click on that and um, I'm just going to load in the ignore that bit I haven't loaded in the code plug yet so in the description on this YouTube video there's a code plug in a Dropbox called brand for Brandmeister so download it to your computer open that file file open and I'm going to browse to where I've put it I've got it on my desktop so I'll open that click open that's now in so uh, like I said before put your settings in there for, for your call sign and your radio ID in general settings channel information you'll see all the repeaters carefully programmed in a few FM simplex channels there and DMR simplex channels and there's another one at the bottom this is your hotspot this is DV node click on that you can give it a different name I'm going to call mine blue stack and make a note of the frequency the receive frequency and the transmit frequency this has got to correspond with the frequency in your software either the software if you're on blue stack it will be the software on Android device on the blue spot software so make sure this, this frequency corresponds with that if you want to do it on the DV4 mini you've also got to um, alter the software on whatever you're using that with whether it's an, a Windows tablet or, or whatever so that's most important get that in and um, that will be your node sorted out so I'm just going to close that and it's renamed it here Bluestack now you've now got your channel in your Bluestack channel in for your hotspot but it's not going to show up this is just the channel you've programmed in you've got to put it into a zone so if you let's minimize that if you click on right open up zone information and if you right click on zone information the folder you can add a new zone and it comes up as zone 1 so I'm going to edit that at the top here to uh, DMR hotspot and it's basically a folder which contains all the stuff you want to use if you don't add anything to it it won't be visible at the bottom of this list on the left is the channel I've made called Bluestack so if you click on that you can add it over to the right and that will now be that will now be in the zone DMR hotspot so as long as you've put your settings in general settings for your ID you've set up your hotspot you're ready to upload it to the radio and to do that you click on this button up here right that will send this file to your radio and it will be ready to use on that frequency you've set so if you click on that and then OK it will upload it to your radio so I'm not going to do that now 
I've got another code plug identical to this but with a different frequency that corresponds to my blue spot software on my Android so I'll close that but that's how you upload it okay so I'll see you in part two